Welcome to a trifold tag card set tutorial. I'm Shari Philomohala here in the Graphic 45 headquarters, and today I'm going to teach you how to take our Steampunk Spells collection and some of our staples and turn them into these interactive cards that are going to be full of fun surprises for your friends and family. These cards this month have been created for us by Nancy Wethington, and Nancy really uh, goes above and beyond showing us great ways to use up all these supplies. Unfold the possibilities with these fun interactive tri-fold cards. You can see Nancy is teaching us a lot of great ways to add dimension and excitement to your handmade cards, including some fussy cutting, decorating your envelopes with your leftovers, and of course, we always love to add some fun interactive details. So along with utilizing this ribbon in a fun way, we also have some other fun elements like this little book that opens up here and a belly band where you can stuff in photos. You could put gift cards behind there and really personalize your cards. So your friends and family just love what you're giving them. You can see here we have more fun interactive details just so much fun to be had so i'll teach you how to create these three that i just showed you in this video tutorial and then i'll show you with your leftover supplies how you can recreate uh, those templates to create a total of six cards now to create this card set, you're gonna need our volume seven card kit. And you can do that by hopping on over to our website, g45papers.com, or going down to your local G45 retailer and picking up the supplies. In the kit, you're gonna get our eight x eight DCE with 24 double-sided sheets in there, as well as our Graphic 45 regular ivory tags. You get nine tags a card and envelope set in ivory with six of each and our graphic 45 trim of course you're also going to get the graphic 45 bag to store all your goodies in and a project sheet to follow step by step with but of course keep watching this tutorial and i'm going to show you how to take all these supplies and create these step by step as well so we encourage you to either pick up the kit or just even grab some supplies that you've got laying around in your stash and join us for this fabulous tutorial for this tutorial, we're going to be using A2 card bases. So those are four and a quarter by five and a half and A2 envelopes. And then six of our uh, ivory graphic 45 regular tags. So the first thing we want to do is take our six tags that we'll be using for this. And we are going to trim off a quarter of an inch from the bottom of our tag. And then do this step with all six of those tags. For each card that you're gonna create, you're gonna need two pieces of ribbon. So each card, I'm gonna use the same ribbon on that card. So for our first card up, we're gonna use this grow grain ribbon. And we want one of those pieces to be nine inches long and one to be 13 inches long. So if you're gonna do all six, you'll just cut two grow grain to be nine inches and two to be 13 inches. And then you'll do the same with the satin and the chevron. And then we're gonna take our first of our card bases and open this up. And on the right hand side, we're gonna take our 13 inch ribbon and we are going to just add your adhesive. You could use liquid or um, uh, dry adhesive for this step. And adhere this about a half of an inch from the edge on the right, on the inside of your card base. Next, we are going to adhere our tag onto our ribbon here, and we want to leave about a fourth of an inch uh, gusset between our card and our tag. And so we cut off this uh, fourth of an inch from the bottom of our tag, so I'm gonna use that as my guide point and kind of straighten out my ribbon. I do know that I want my grommet to be um, facing up on my card, so when I'm adhering it down, I wanna adhere the ribbon grommet on my uh, nice smooth grommet side so I'll have the back side up while I'm doing this and this is also going to be flush with the bottom here so just kind of noting I want adhesive to where my thumb is and I don't want to put adhesive where our fourth inch gusset is add my adhesive put my little spacer back where I want it to go and now I can adhere my tag down. 
And I'm just gonna hold that for a few seconds while it dries. Now just making sure everything's coming together nicely. I'm going to pull this shut and it looks great. Now I'm gonna just put that back like so, so I can add my nine inch ribbon and I want to do that on the front center of our card base. And I wanna do that just the same placement, making sure it will be nice and even and a half of an inch from that left hand side. And go ahead and adhere. Follow those same steps for all of your card bases. Card one. Step one, we're gonna take our signature page of Steampunk Spells and we're gonna fussy cut out our woman on the bike. Just in case you're new to Graphic 45 and you want some um, fussy cutting tips, let me just go over real quick some of my favorite tips for you. We love maximizing the use of our busy papers like these signature papers. Our signature papers are all about telling the story of the collection. So they'll feature all the colors um, in each, in any given collection, along with um, the main imagery and focal points of this line. So you can always um, see what we are all about with this one page and then all the other pages um, have much less busy prints and more of the scrapbooking ditzy papers you're accustomed to. But we love showing you how you can really take these gorgeous signature pages and use them for your projects. So fussy cutting is one of those ways. Of course, you can always just add a signature page to the front of a notebook or a mini album and voila you have got a gorgeous cover right there. We also know a bunch of G45 fans who like to frame some of their favorites and put them up in their house. I don't know if that's you. Give us a shout out in the comments. So I'm just taking my fine tip scissors here and roughly going around the edge of my image that I want to cut out. So the first thing I did is I went in and I cut out just the image, making sure I didn't cut into any other um, gorgeous images that I could use to embellish later, and that I could also use the B side of this paper if I wanted to. So really just cutting out what we need and then going in and getting out those fine details. And then from here, I'm just gonna take my fine tip scissors and just do a little bit of trimming, driving my paper through that blade. And I'm just gonna get the basic idea. I'm not gonna get too fussy with these feathers on her hat or with the curls in her hair. You know, this is gonna be, it's gonna look great no matter what. So there you have it, our beautiful cut image. Next, with those leftovers, we're going to strategically cut out our large pumpkin hot air balloon and then fussy cut into this. We'll save these scraps for our next steps. From your signature sheets, we're gonna cut out these three pieces. So we will need to start cutting into our second sheet, just to note. But we're gonna take our largest piece, that's four inches by five and a quarter, this one is two and three quarters by four inches and two inches by four inches. From step three, we're gonna take our two by four piece and I'm going to take a corner chomper. You can, of course, leave it unchomped if you'd like, um, but I am going to chomp my top right hand corner with a quarter inch uh, corner chomper. And then we'll add some adhesive. I'm using some art glitter glue, but you can use whatever is your faves and adhere this down. Next, we are going to be figuring out 
um, our placement with our fussy cut lady and also adding a bit of a border piece here so you can see from my leftovers i've got some border pieces going on so i'm just going to cut this piece out here and kind of play around with my placement so it's not a straight cut and then once you have it how you like it so now we're going to go ahead and adhere this down and i'm just going to leave a nice eighth of an inch ivory border showing all the way around now that we've got our border down we're going to take our fussy cut star the show and kind of place this where we want her to go and i'm going to trim off any excess so she's not going off my tag and once i like my placement with her i'm going to paper clip once i have it paper clipped i'm just going to take my fine tip scissors and i'm just going to trim off with looking at the back side any excess so so it is looking good except for now i've got my grommet in the way so just going to kind of eyeball this and cut i did some starter cuts and now i'm just going to round it out just a little bit so it'll match that grommet look a little bit better like so let's give her try her out now see how it's looking looking good add some liquid adhesive and we are going to add her to our tag front i would definitely recommend liquid adhesive for this step so you can wiggle her into place and then i'm going to flip it over and see if there's anything else i need to trim off so and you can see Nancy did hers differently than mine, where she put her lady underneath and the border on top. And I have my border tucked underneath. So everybody has their own way of doing things. Which way do you prefer? Note, I'm not going to fussy cut out her hat because once we add the ribbon, you can't even see it anyway, and I don't wanna add that extra work and uh, go into our second sheet of paper and make things harder for cutting things out. So I'm just gonna leave it as is and then add some ribbon to the top at the end and it'll still look beautiful. I see that we do have an error on the project sheet that it said to cut this to two and three quarters by four inches, but then later on this dis um, instructions, it says that this should be three and three quarters by four inches, which um, would fit better in this space. However, I'm just gonna work with this, and if you um, haven't cut it already, you can cut it to the correct dimensions of three and three quarters by four inches and have yours look like Nancy's here but I'm gonna roll with my uh, what we've got here and I'm just going to crop out my corner and adhere this to the top right. Take that fussy cut hot air balloon from earlier and this is just gonna go in the top right. Next in the directions, it says to grab a fanciful floral and cut this to one and a quarter by four and a quarter which would give you this size of shape. But in the photos, you can see um, she uses something smaller, which is actually um, one inch by two and a half inches. So if you want to go that way, you can go that way. So I'm going to use what the instructions say to use, and I'm just going to chomp my top corner. And then I'm just going to adhere this down next to our B side of our steampunk spells. And then from the cover of our 8x8 paper pad, I've cut out these two stamps. So you can see they are a little bit different and not double-sided, but why not work with, why not work with those? I'm gonna grab some of the negative space, some of my, from my foam adhesive, and adhere this just in between my two papers. And then from our steampunk spells, 
leftovers that we fussy cut out. I'm gonna take another one of those border pieces and I've cut this one to be three and three quarters of an inch and I'm just going to end cap the bottom of my tag nice and beautifully. So now I have this gorgeous look. So this is what I've done with the instructions given on the project sheet. Of course, you can always follow uh, the images or rather and go this way, but I don't know. I'm thinking I like this way more. Do you have a preference? Step five, I'm taking that piece of steampunk spells we cut earlier that is four inches by five and a quarter, and I'm going to adhere it onto the center of our card front. Next, we're gonna take a piece of fanciful floral that's been cut to three and three quarters by five inches. And I've added some foam adhesive, and I'm just going to pop this up on top of my card front. Of course, you could pick which side you want to pop up. I'm going with this side so it brings um, both of these two pieces together. From Vintage Voyage, we've cut out this wishing you a happy Halloween and popped it up. Of course, if you don't want to use this as a card for Halloween, you can always use the B-side, even though we will be using the B-side again. You can see here, um, you can just use the B-side in both places or um, cover this up with some kind of decoration as well. Step six, we are going to work on the inside of our card. And we've cut another piece of fanciful floral, four inches by five and a quarter. And I'm gonna go orange side up again. Of course, you, you do you and you pick which side you like the most. From your second sheet of Vintage Voyage, cut out this image again, and we are going to adhere and now a great way to use up those leftover bits and pieces is to cut them into a square. This is a one and a quarter inch square. And I'm just going to cut this square into two triangle pieces. And then from there, I'm going to do a bit of a fold like so. And then I'm going to just cut straight along here, cutting out another triangle this up. You'll see I have a lovely little corner, that embellishment. That'll frame this beautifully. So I'm gonna fold this back up so I can use it as a guide. So I have two equal pieces. Fold this little beauty in half. All right, I'm just going to straddle this triangle piece with my other piece that I cut and use that as a guide and cut this out. Now I have two equal size corner pieces that I can adhere onto my card. Oh my goodness, how cute is this? So our last step, we just need to tie this baby up. So I'm just doing some bunny ears so I get a nice, perfect little bow. Once I get to this point, I'm just gonna take my scissors and trim off my edges, or my ends. And then I've just tied my leftover to the top. So there you have it. We've ended up with a gorgeous, fun and dimensional card. I may have made a few crafting um, choices here with this card, but I think it still turned out absolutely stunning. And I thank you so much for your patience with me on this card number one. Let's do better with two and three. Now using that same template, here is what you can create with the leftover papers. So here in the background, we have Totally Wicked, this cute owl paper, a scrap piece of our steampunk spells B-side, and this cute little cat cut out from A Frightful Folly. We're using the nice satin ribbon on this one. And we've got some fun stuff going on in here. We have created a nice little pocket here. We have this cut out from Frightful Folly, and this one comes from our Vintage Voyage. This is from Nevermore. We've got another little uh, cute fussy cut out owl from our Totally Wicked, and a B-side from our Totally Wicked. The stripe comes from Pumpkin Power, and then open that up, and we have some more Totally Wicked here, and this little cut apart from Frightful Folly. 
card two. For step one for card two, we've cut out two pieces of medical marvels, each to three and a half by four and a half. And then we are going to um, corner chomp our top two corners to match the rounding of our tags. Adhere to the front and the back of the tag. From Clockworks, we are going to fussy cut out one of these large full circles and adhere this to the front of our tag. I'm just going to overlap a little bit so it'll go on to the ivory part of our tag just a bit to give us some more interest. Next we are going to take a strip of our TikTok paper and this has been cut to three and a half by a half of an inch and we're going to create a little belly band with this. A bit of adhesive on either side and this is going to adhere to the center of our decorative paper on the back side of our tag. From Vintage Voyage, I'm gonna take these two cut aparts and I'm gonna tuck them into our little belly band here. Also to note, I'm gonna keep my cards on the more simple side. So if you wanna go and go above and beyond like Nancy has, go ahead and fussy cut out the following images. This beware scroll here this double, double toil and trouble scroll here, and a love potion number 45 here. And then I will show you now, one goes here on the belly band, the love potion goes here inside of our book, and the double, double toil and trouble goes at the bottom of the inside of our card. So after we're done, let's see which one you like more. Step two for our card front, we are taking a piece of clockworks that's been cut to four inches by five and a quarter, and this is gonna go right in the center. Next from Vintage Voyage, we are going to cut out this book of spells and just did a light fussy cut around that. And then I'm going to score on the spine of my book Fold on that score line and crease with your bone folder. Add adhesive just to that scored spine area and center this on your card front. Once adhered, make sure you're all in business and you can open and close your book front. From a Vintage Voyage, we are just gonna cut out this cut apart here and just use this glasses portion. So of course you could always leave this framed area or use this framed area for um, another project or another card. So we're going to be cutting out our eyeglasses and clocks here. And for the first step, I just want to use the eyeglasses. So let's just cut that out. Like so. And now I have my two pieces. So at this point, we could just use this for behind our book and we could save this for later. Add your adhesive and adhere this inside your book cover. For step five, we have cut a piece of beware to four inches by five and a quarter. From here, since I'm not going to be adding my double, double toil and trouble, I can just adhere this right in the center as is like so but um, remember how I cut my frame apart earlier you can always cut a second one out of your second sheet and adhere it like that and have that nice little repetitive look or if you wanted you could adhere this in a u-shape and put it in the center like I'm doing here and then you could slide in um, a photo you could slide in a little some cash or some other fun little trinkets for the recipient. Now all we have left to do is tie this bad boy up. Once you like how your ribbons are we can go ahead and trim off the excess. 
I'm gonna just pinch those two together like so and then cut that off. So I end up with a nice little V. And then there's about five inches left from your ribbon pack. So I just tied that through the top of my tag there and untied this cutie and we're all done. So would love to hear, what do you prefer? Do you like it nice and simple without those added fussy cuts? Or are you wild and crazy for Nancy's beautiful fussy cut version? Now taking that same template, here is what you can create. So we've got that fun chevron ribbon again. We've done a fussy cut little detail here. And this time we've only um, adhered it in a U shape so we can slide in a little fun surprise. So on our front cover, we are using mechanical marvels and we have fussy cut out from Witching Hour. This little um, insert comes from Nevermore. And then let's open this beautiful card up and you can see we have um, clockworks here in the background. We've got a nice little clockworks um, photo mat or pull out some more of those great scrolls from witching hour and then here we've created a fun little book using our nevermore paper and just matted that onto our frightfully follow or frightfully folly polka dot got more mechanical marvels there and on the back side, we've got the B side of Clockworks, which goes nicely together. And this little Good Fortune um, cut apart from Frightful Folly. Card number three. Step one for card three. We're going to cut out pumpkin power to be three and three quarters by four and a half and round those top two corners. This is just going to fit beautifully onto the front of our tag. And then with your other sheet from pumpkin power, we're going to fussy cut out these two pumpkin air balloons. You can see I don't have the full bottom of this one. And cut out this second cat image. Adhere this pumpkin to the top right. And then leaving an eighth of an inch of room on the bottom and right, we're going to adhere our cat down. And then we'll adhere this second balloon in the bottom left hand corner. And then we're gonna work on the back of our tag. And we're gonna cut this piece to three and three quarters by three inches. The project sheet does say three and a half inches. Um, however, this is three and three quarters. And then we're gonna cut a second piece from the B side that is three and three quarters by one and three quarters and add adhesive in a U shape. And then this is just gonna go just slightly over the top of our pumpkin hot air balloons, creating a nice little pocket. Next, cut a piece of our fanciful floral. This is gonna be three and three quarters by a half of an inch and adhere this onto the center of our pocket. Just another beautiful way to use up those scraps. I love how Nancy's using up all the bits and pieces in this tutorial, really showcasing how you can maximize your papers by adding extra fun uh, elements and really bringing it all to life. So next we're gonna uh, cut out this cut apart, so very curious, and add it to our pocket. And then add our love potion cut apart to this pocket here. Step three, the front of the card. We've cut pumpkin power to be four inches by five and a quarter. And this is just gonna go right in the center. Cut out this vintage voyage cut apart and adhere this to the center. From Nevermore, we're gonna cut out these three images and I'm just gonna score those on those lines where they meet. Once we've done that, I'm going to accordion fold this and I want my double, double toil and trouble to be on the outside. And I want this to be as close as matching as I can. So even though my score lines might be a little off, I can kind of 
wish it into place by putting it how I like it and then burnishing it down with my bone folder. And now I have a cute little fold out. I'm going to add adhesive just to this back section here. It's gonna adhere right to the center of our vintage voyage. So now we have a fun a little interactive pull out detail. Step four, we're gonna work on the inside of our card. And here we have another piece of our pumpkin power that's been cut to four inches by five and a quarter. And then last but not least, we're gonna take this Lucky Spells cut apart. I've adhered it in an L. You can adhere it however you want. I'm also gonna put this towards the bottom left. That way, if I wanna slide in a gift card or some photos or a note or something special, I have space to do so. And tie and trim your tails. And I'm gonna use one of my little leftover bits. And it's a little too small to tie a knot in, but what if we angle both those edges and staple this together? It's gonna be helpful if we untie this first. There we go. Now we can really get in there with our stapler and staple this down. And then we just stapled that down Got a cute little steampunk feel to it. Now let me show you what you can do with that same template here. So we did some fussy cutting here on the front, but this time we only adhered in an L so we can have a little tuck in. So our little tuck in comes from Vintage Voyage, our clock comes from Clockworks, and our uh, gear paper is our Beware. And then we open this up to reveal Another fun little pocket here, and we've got clockwork in the back. We have a fanciful floral here, some more Nevermore here. This is from Frightful Folly, Nevermore. And um, some cut apart stamps. And our black cats are from Beware as well. And then we open this up and we've got more Beware here and another cut apart from a Frightful Folly yourself on the back because we have done it we have created a lot of gorgeous cards we'd love to hear what your favorites were uh, what your what was your favorite technique so let us know in the comments below and then be sure to share your cards with us on instagram using that graphic 45 hashtag and then if you're looking for more fun and fabulous tutorials like this one go ahead and subscribe to our youtube channel and hit that notification bell so you're alerted each and every time we post a great project like this one. So if you haven't already joined us for the Pyramid mini album, do that right now. And as always, happy paper crafting.